Just got to Arashiyama. Uh, we're walking over to the Monkey Park right now. Dying. That's all. Just dying a little bit. These monkeys better be good monkeys. Look at Elisa they're all dressed up in a kimono. Look at that. Let's go. We're gonna go head over to the Arashiyama bamboo forest right now. I'm dressed up in a, a male kimono as well. Toe thongs are very uncomfortable. And with my height, the selection wasn't the greatest. that has nine dividers. Yep, sectioned off. Yeah, it's all sectioned off, so you really can't put that much. Well, there's a, well, there's a will, there's a way. I, I totally. At the very end, there's more, there's all the good food was at the end, so I had to just pile it to a different, different section. At least, is there any almost done with here? Oh, not really. Oh yeah, so yeah, so you, see, you see the clip right there? Um, they clipped mine and Elisa's sleeves up because apparently uh, a lot of people are dressed up when they are walking around this area and the sleeve gets in the way when, you eat, when you're eating. So, Anyways, gonna go eat. And then once we finish eating, we're gonna go head over to the Gyoji Shrine, which is uh, like a moss covered temple.
got out of our kimonos. We're gonna head back over to Gion, uh, which is where we're near where we're staying. Um, our hotel, luckily, is in a good spot because it's in the middle of three big areas: uh, Pontecho, Gion, and Nishiki Market. Uh, we have yet to visit Nishiki Market, but we're gonna do that over the next one of these days, uh, either tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So we're just tired. We're gonna go back to our Airbnb and rest our feet for a little bit because I don't think those sandals were meant to be used for <laughs> used for hiking or I was say hiking but walking long distances. We walked a good I want to say we walked a good five or six miles in those sandals and five or six miles isn't so bad if you had normal shoes but these sandals are super thin they're like as thick as, as, thick as cardboard at most and there's no heel support. Being tall uh, isn't, <laughs> it's hard to wear a kimono because they didn't really have anything my size. They, the kimono was my size, but everything else was kind of small, including my sandals. I got the biggest sandals and my heel didn't even fit completely on the sandals. Oh, we're pretty tired. Calves, ankles, they're all shot right now. So we're gonna go head back and get some rest. We're, we're gonna go get some dinner and pump show tonight. Maybe, hopefully, uh, have a nice little romantic dinner on the riverside or something. We're currently heading over to Pontecho to get some dinner. Not sure where we're gonna eat yet, but I would like to eat at a restaurant that offers juca, which apparently is um, like a riverside outdoor dining type of deal. So I'm gonna check that out. I'm not sure where we're gonna eat, but Hunter Show has a ton of uh Hunter Show has a ton of options, so I'm sure we'll find something. Luckily uh, our Airbnb is actually only within I wanna say a five minute walk. Super close. So yeah, great location. I'll definitely stay here again. We walked all the way up and down Hunter Show and we well at least yeah, we both wanted. Um, yeah, we both wanted steak, meat, uh, but not only meat. We wanted some like Kobe beef, Wagyu, or something. Well, on top of that, we also wanted um, a restaurant that was on the riverside, so that we can have outdoor seating, despite it being a little chilly for Elisa. Uh, it's kind of nice and romantic. We have the river running along the side, and so with that, we were very, very limited with uh, our choices of where we could eat. So, yeah, the place is a little pricey, but uh, we're gonna have some, it's kind of like a fancy place, but we're gonna have some uh, grade A5 Wagyu beef. And let's see what else. Huh? <laughs> uh, what? You know those videos on YouTube where they, they just keep in front of the camera? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> Go out least the video. Yes. <laughs> we just got our steaks. So this one filet. And we have a sirloin steak over here. We've got some wagyu beef currently on the grill. What's what's your verdict? All right, now it's time to try the sirloin. Lisa is grilling like I'm billing. What? <laughs> We're really tired. We just finished our expensive dinner. Was, I wouldn't say it was 100% worth it, but it was pretty good. It wasn't all. It also wasn't a waste of money. So, I'm kind of in between about it. The portion wasn't that much at the at dinner, so. Uh, there's a little spot that was selling um, some takoyaki, so bought some, bought six pieces of takoyaki for myself. Uh, Elisa got some uh, the wagyu beef, uh, wagyu beef skewer. Well, no, it's like deep fried, right? It was like deep fried wagyu beef on a skewer. We are way too tired. We're way too tired. We walk around and uh, walking around the kimono today. 
with sandals and all that good shit. And we walk, actually walked a lot, so pretty exhausted. We're gonna go home or go back to our Airbnb, eat a little bit more, and it's probably good that we're too tired because we happen to walk by stupid ass round one. <laughs> the stupid UFO claw games. I steal my money. I spent like <laughs> I spent like twelve to fifteen dollars on this stupid ass claw machine. And it's kind of a tease because like every time I would get closer and closer, but it just uh, it, it didn't happen. So good thing about Airbnb is so close to everything. Very fortunate. All right, we're gonna call it our night here. Peace out, I'm gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow we have uh, a full day of, a full day itinerary to check out more temples and everything. Um, and tomorrow is also at least his birthday in Japan. So we're gonna celebrate, well, I don't know. We'll celebrate by visiting temples or something. Yes. Yeah, all right. And we're about basically at our Airbnb. So we're gonna call it a night. Peace.